I'm Josh with Wapaka Community Media, and we're joined with Peg and Sue and Sue's dog at the Wapaka Area Public Library today. <laughs> yeah. Morning, Josh. Name. I had the kids name them, but I forgot what they named them. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> so what's the story behind the dog in your office? Well, we're getting ready for the idea to read. We'll talk about that more next time, but uh, when we talk about uh, reading and, and racing against the dog sled teams in Alaska, then my friend always comes out. Well, speaking of animals this week, maybe not talking dogs, but we're talking birds. And you've got a couple of things going on around uh, birds in the backyard bird count. So tell us about that. Well, uh, we have done citizen science projects before at the library. One year we tagged monarch butterflies. We asked families and adults to go out and find monarchs and tag them and showed them how to do it. And then we were able to, you know, keep track of how many tags were reported in that uh, monarch butterfly migration to Mexico. And it's great. Citizen science projects are so great because it involves the whole community and it doesn't exclude it. anybody can do it. So this great uh, backyard bird count is something they they do two bird counts a year, the Audubon Society, National Audubon Society and the Cornell Lab for Ornithology. And this one is important because it is a count that happens before the annual migration. So before birds come north and before our birds go further north, we can do a count and we can provide scientists with global information collected by ordinary citizens uh, and it's really easy to do. So the Great Backyard Bird Count happens uh, February 12th through the 15th and you don't have to do all four days. They're just asking you to do one day and only for 15 minutes. And all you're supposed to do is go out somewhere and observe the birds you see, identify them, count them and submit those numbers on the website. So the library thought, what a great opportunity to get people outside in a safe environment during the pandemic, right, Peg? And, That's right. and what a great way to do it together with your family. So we just devised this backyard bird count. And then, you know, like librarians, our brains get going. And the next thing you know, we've got a bird feeder outside the library. Tell yes. them about that, Peg. Yeah, so um, we we put up a bird feeder and we didn't have a lot of friends, no little birds coming. So then we put up more um, little feeder things with peanut butter and seeds. So we're really trying to attract those birds and we're even um, broadcasting bird sounds out the window to try and get our birds to come to the, the bird feeder. So um, we're doing everything we can to get those birds there and you can hear them when you walk outside. And um, so we have a camera poised there and and um, it's taking a, a constant picture. So it is fun to look at Main Street. We haven't had a lot of bird friends, but maybe we need to spend that 15 minutes out there and then we'll uh, we'll see our bird friends. So and then, more information about how to participate is available at our website, but anybody who comes to curbside will get a, a brochure like this in their bag uh, with directions on how to participate. It's really, really easy to do. Uh, you could do all four days if you wanted to. You could change your location. Uh, I know outdoors, you're outdoors all the time, Josh, and you are observing all sorts of great nature. I've um, seen two bald eagles in Wapaka very recently, one as uh, early as yesterday. Yeah, well, our little live bird cam is not as exciting as the Decora <laughs> Eagles uh, live bird cam, but we're doing, we're desperately seeking birds to come visit our bird feeder. <laughs> And you can also get a kit to make a bird feeder. Oh, so yeah. here's here's the sample proto, uh, prototype we made. Uh, the one that is in the kit is more colorful because uh, we use colorful popsicle sticks. But anybody can build these little bird platform bird feeders and we even give you the seed to put inside and the string to hang it up with. So very exciting. Yeah, so ask for your kit. kit. Ask for your kit cool. when you come to curbside. Cool. Something else going on is your February online reading challenge and you're asking uh, uh, you get a badge for every 30 minutes you read. So what's the whole challenge about? 
Well, what we're really trying to do is to have people identify themselves as readers. And what they're doing is finding their sweet read. So these are books that generally and gentle, but what we really want to do is to create that online community where people are are posting reviews and reading reviews to find a book that somebody else liked. So it's a way to make connections with that. You can join the challenge from our um, from our website and it's for adults or, or young adults. Um, so teens, adults are welcome to join and uh, hopefully you'll find some new books, some new authors and join that community of readers. And staff is going to be sharing some of their sweet reads too. So there's always people, that's one of the things I think we hear from our customers is that they miss getting uh, staff recommendations. They, when they would were able to come into the library, we would always be able to tell them, you know, give them some suggestions. And so this is an opportunity for us to share our sweet reads with our customers too. So I'll put you both on the spot. What is a recommendation from each of you right now? Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I'm reading I'm reading books for fourth and fifth graders right now. So um, but there are some really great ones. I just finished uh, Lauren Wolk's Echo Mountain. It's a historical fiction uh, set in depression times. Uh, family has to move out of town and move up into the mountains and it's tough life. Let me tell you, if we, we think we've got it tough now. No, it's pretty great. Lauren Wolk's Echo Mountain. I'll get you a copy. Call us up. What about you, Peg? <laughs> and, and for me, I just um, finished a Catherine Ryan Hyde's book, Stay, and it's it's that idea that we have to have a reason to be on the earth, and and we have people in that that community that are struggling, who've had things in their past that that make them feel less than they should be, and when they make connections with those people, they understand that they should stay. Um, because somebody else cares about them and and it, they're important to somebody else. So kind of a nice sweet book. It's by the same author who did Pay It Forward, which was a great um, book and then movie. So Catherine Ryan Hyde. And we're at that time of year we're thinking taxes and trying <laughs> to figure out how to get that all done. And the library has a couple of resources to assist with uh, getting your taxes done. We do. We've um, actually put all of our forms out in the lobby this year, so they're easy, um, contactless. You can just go to our lobby and get those forms. And if you don't find what you need, um, you can step inside and ask us to print something for you, or you can call us and we can print it and deliver curbside. So um, we are providing those tax forms as we have in the past. Um, if you don't see what you're looking for, step inside our doors and we'll be able to help you from there. So we did not get any state forms yet, is that Oh, correct? we did. We, we got them did. yesterday. Oh, well there. See, it's even news to me. Yeah. So now we have to do our state taxes too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to Surprise! do the federal first. <laughs> do your federal form first and then your state. But yep, they're there. And the instructions and there's a booklet. And it's interesting because the federal government has really changed the way they're doing things. They don't have that A and E Z anymore. They have 1040 and they have 1040 SR, which is seniors. So those are the booklets that are there. Um, and then if you find you need something else, we can help you print that too. Perfect. Well, Sue, Peg, thanks for getting us up to date about everything going on at the library. Come and thanks, listen to Sarah. our bird calls. <laughs>